It's happening. Oh my God. Fine, we're gonna do it. We're gonna play the booster box game with collector booster packs in which I open this up in real time, see if I can guess the prices. Our editors will insert the real prices. And if I can get, what's this going for? $240 for 12 packs? Oh my God, how has it come to this? Why do you tune into this? Why do you do this to me? Then I will sell those cards, go down to my local game store, and use that money to buy another box. As always, please, please, please be kind to me. I don't know what things are worth. I'm old, I'm overworked, I'm tired. I'm gonna say crazy things. I hope you enjoy, oh, ha 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 ha. He thought that card was worth $2, it's worth 48. How does he not know that's the most powerful card in Standard? How does he not know that? Because I don't play Standard. I play Magic the Gathering, which needs four players and no one plays Standard. Look, all I'm saying is be nice, be kind. We're gonna open up this box over here in just a minute. But hey, what's this? It's even more collector booster boxes of Wilds of Eldraine that I'm not opening, but giving away to you? It's true, and it's going to be on Whatnot, where you can catch my stream and get yourself a collector booster box of Wilds of Eldraine and many other awesome Magic the Gathering giveaways, courtesy of me, the professor. Whatnot is just like if Twitch and eBay had a baby, where people live stream cool things things like magic cards and packs that they want to auction off for sale, and you can bid or buy as you like. Use my special invite code and get a $15 credit to spend on any stream, any item, anything you want on whatnot, which, hey, 15 bucks, that's a couple of packs of magic cards or 15 bucks off a nice magic item, whatever you want. And you can use it on anyone's stream, maybe even mine. Speaking of which, tune in to my stream next Friday, September 29th at 10 a.m. Pacific, where I'll be giving away collector booster boxes of Throne of Drain, as well as many other cool Magic the Gathering prizes. So come hang out with me, claim your $15 credit, and maybe walk out with some cool collector booster boxes. Hey, even if you don't end up walking away with collector booster boxes, commander decks, and other cool things that I'm giving away on my stream, we get to hang out and you get $15 credit to spend however you want on whatever you want on whatnot. So be sure to use my invite code at www.whatnot.com forward slash invite forward slash Tolarian College to get $15 of credit to spend on anything and also catch my next stream where I'll be doing many, many Magic the Gathering giveaways that you might just walk away with. Now, let's open up that one box. All right, so as always, disclaimer that I don't know what anything is worth. I don't pay attention to that stuff. I don't sit and memorize lists. This is actually where I learn what a set is worth as I look everything up. But actually, I don't do that anymore because I have someone who does that for me. So I remain perpetually discombobulated. So here we have 12 packs for $240. Oh my goodness. Well, at least it's not four packs as Commander Masters had. Let's open these up. And I really do love this set, by the way. Regardless of whether... All right, we're going this way. Regardless of whether there's value in collector boosters, All right, Lord Skitter's Blessing foil. It's the stretchy art. When Lord Skitter's Blessing, blah, 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 blah. Uh, this is two bucks. Copy Enchantment, beautiful art. Isn't it sad that the foil is a little duller? That the non-foil is brighter and more vibrant? I love, so I love, love, love the enchantment cards on the bonus sheet. They're great. This is the sort of thing that really makes this set pop. Fantastic way to enter reprints to people without affecting standard. You may have copy enchantment enter the battlefield as a copy of any enchantment on the battlefield. I think that's also not really that great. I'm gonna say that this is also just two bucks. But what I am gonna do, like with all of the enchantment cards for this set, so I'm gonna go ahead 
going to sign it. And I will send this out to a Patreon, to a new patron at the signed card level over at www.patreon.com forward slash Larian Community College. It's a great way to support the channel. And if you'd like to get a card from me signed, it will be a random Enchanting Tales enchantment. They'll literally just be the ones that I opened here, leftover ones from the Booster Box game. Yes, some will be rares, some will be the uncommons, that's the mythic in there. It's just at random, dropped in my way to say thank you, and it's a way to support the channel. Patreon dropped a lot of people, so that is a way that I say thank you. If you want to do a little bit more, you can get your name in the credits, and if you want to do a little bit less, there is also our TCC Discord. All right, cool Somifage. Mm, pretty neat little Demir card, but I don't think that this is worth more than 90 cents. Ogre Chitterlord. This is another one that cannot possibly be worth much. I'm going to say it's another less than a dollar. Less than a dollar. Actually, well, it's the extended art. We'll say a dollar. It's a dollar. Ooh. Wow. We got Rowan. Sign of War in foil. Not in the special art, though. But it's a Planeswalker. That's got to be a solid fiver, right? In foil? Solid $5. Oh, it's not a Planeswalker anymore. They've been de-sparked. Lame. But it's a legendary. So you could use it as your commander, finally. Though I don't know that you would want to. So it's just, I'm going to say five bucks. Oh, look at that. Grasp of Fate. This was from when I was in high school. This one means a lot to me. Um, oh, I want to keep this one for my collection. But I'm going to send it out to a patron. Oh, I'm going to get one of these for my collection. Can I just, okay, I promise you, I'm, well, all right, no, here we go. Anyway, uh, it's in foil, it's in that beautiful, what is this, like maybe, Grasp of Fate is pretty good, but I'm going to say this is only about $3.99, and we'll go ahead, we'll sign that to send out to a patron for this month if you sign up over at Patreon. Beautiful, just beautiful. Knightly Valor. That one's less than a buck. Sorry. I'm not going to sign them all on this video, okay? Because it'll take too long. But that one's less than a buck. Uh, what are the full art lands going for? They should always be about like 250. I'm going to say two bucks. Two bucks, 250. Used to be a time when a foil full art land. These are beautiful. Would be worth a lot more, but now that they are printed so frequently, they're not special. It is unfortunate. All right, and then we're not gonna do uncommons or anything. There's no value here. I mean, here, show it right here on this one and only on this one editor. Disdainful stroke in foil, it's like 13 cents probably, right? Yeah, so we're not stopping at uncommons. The only uncommon that we'll stop at is the beans. Beans, beans, nothing but beans. And some nice commons, beautiful stuff, but no value. Not the beans we're looking for, beanstalk worm. Commune with nature, that's a great card. Good for some reanimator strategies. All right, uh, total value on that pack. I'd say that's, what, 20 bucks in value in there? No way, that's 20 bucks in value. That's not 20 bucks in value, that's $15 in value, I say. That pack, 15 bucks. All right, next pack. I think these so hard to get open. There we go. Open, open, open. Got our lovely double-sided token and oh, holy moly. Grave packed enchantment and that beautiful anime style, just beautiful. This one, I think we need to sign in silver to go out to our patron. Look at that. For those who don't know, with my terrible signature, some people are like, oh, wow, Prof didn't put any, this is my signature, I'm sorry. It says the Prof or the Professor, however you want to read it, in quotes, because it's my moniker, and believe it or not, those two little squiggles at the bottom are legitimately how I sign my name on checks. Yes, I still pay with checks sometimes. Aggravated assault. Assault. 
we can do that in silver as well. These are all going out to new patrons at random, just stuffing them in envelopes. I'm gonna stop signing for this and I'll sign them afterwards. But you can see that a great way to support the channel is over at Patreon. Any amount helps. All right. Uh, oh, I didn't do my guesses. Do I? All right. Guesses, guesses. <laughs> I got so excited in the artwork. It's beautiful. Grave pack's got to be got to be a twenty bucks, right? Twenty bucks. It's foil, full art, super art. Twenty bucks. Aggravated assault. Down to fifteen. Right. There we go. Uh, restless vine stock. It's a land. Enters tapped. Green or blue? Yeah. Three dollar land? Yeah, five dollars. It's in the it's in the full art. Five dollars. Lord Skitter, the sewer king. Oh my God, we just had Lord Skitter, and I don't remember what I said for Lord Skitter. Oh no, it was Lord Skitter's blessing. All right. Well, this can actually be our commander, but I think that unfortunately, Lord Skitter, even in this full art, is probably only about. Eh, let's say $2.99. Godric, Cloaked Reveler. In foil. Not a special art. Eh, $3.49? Raid Bombardment. This will go out. Oh, it's in foil, too. Oh, beautiful. It isn't uncommon, though, but I do like Raid Bombardment. I think this one is probably... Eh, $4. Utopia Sprawl. Oh boy, talk about a needed reprint. Utopia Sprawl's gotta be in this style as well. It's not foil. Let's say this is a good $12.99, right? $12.99. Foil Island, I'm just guessing two to two fifty for all of the lands. And then here we have, we're not guessing, on Kalos Sellsword, or the Woodland Acolyte. Ego Drain. Oh, <laughs> talk about something the professor needs, which is Mark. Now, it's only the beanstalk is the only uncommon we're even looking for, and we didn't get it. Let's see how many beanstalks we get. All right, that pack, that's definitely, that's a $30 pack. That's a great pack. That's a $30 pack. All right, definitely justifying. That was some hot Enchanted Tales enchantments in there. Grave Pact, what a great card for Commander. Really cool. Got a double-sided token. Oh, we got the Toitus! This is a great new card. Made my top five list. It's mythic, it's foil, it's, 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 it's gotta be like 699, 713, something like that. For sure. For sure. Beautiful. Blind Obedience. God, the reprints on the Enchanting Tales is so great. This is such a great card. This is better than Commander Masters. It is. Look at how you're getting these cards. And they're they're just what you want in Commander. Oh, what an annoying card to play against uh, when artifacts, creatures, your opponent's control into the battlefield tapped. You can do Extort. Beautiful card. I run it in my Tasted deck. Uh, not in foil, but it is this special art. This has got to be, let's say, $6.06. Pollen Shield Hair. Mm-mm. Creature tokens you control get plus one, plus one is nice. On a stick. Uh, I don't think this is, is there, though. I think this is only about $2.13. Oh, Avila. Cunning Conqueror. In the stretchy art, gosh, this is probably probably a uh, eight dollar card. Let's say eight dollars. Ooh, we got a restless cottage in foil. I don't think these are that great necessarily in terms of price. Maybe we're in the. Uh, $6 range is what I'm guessing. Let's say $6. Hatching plans. Enchantment. Unfortunately, though the art is awesome, this is only a 48 cent card. Even in foil, it's only 48 cents. And then we get the Griffin Airy. 
At the beginning of your end step, if you gained three or more life this turn, create a 2-2 two -two white griffin creature token with flying. Uh, less than 48 cents. This is a quarter. I'll give you a quarter for it. Beautiful foil swamp. Do we get some beans, beans? Why do I have the soundtrack for Into the Woods playing through my head as I look at these cards? Which do you think? Tell me in the comments, theater nerds. Was the film Into the Woods better or worse than the Broadway production, which we've all seen that terrible copy of it on YouTube, which is still fun to watch, but I really wish we had a higher level production. Love this set, regardless of how these packs are doing. And I say that pack, that's a $20 pack. $20 on that pack. Didn't get there. Double-sided food token. Also, cute little rat. What a cute little rat. Likeness Looter. In the stretchy art, we're looking at about, I don't know, $3 and change. Oh, Dawn of Hope, whenever you gain life, you may pay two if you do draw a card. Eh, this is a dollar. Virtue of Knowledge. This is a good one and it's beautiful art. Let's say this is maybe in the $11 range. $11 and change. Court of Vantress, an enchantment. When Court of Vantress enters the battlefield, you become the monarch. Love it, it's good to be the king. At the beginning of your upkeep, choose up to one other target enchantment or artifact. If you're the monarch, you may create a token that's a copy of it. This is a great card, that's fun. I'm gonna say this is up in the $7.99 range, $7.99. Yenna, Red Tooth Regent. I'm gonna build a commander around them. That's a good one. Maybe four bucks, 53 cents. Season of Growth in foil in the Enchanting Tales. Whenever a creature enters the battlefield under your control, scry one. Whenever you cast a spell that targets a creature you control, draw a card. That's much better. This has got to be $8.75 since it's in foil. <gasps> Dark Tutelage. If you, one of my favorite, I love Friday Nights. If you haven't watched Friday Nights, uh, the Magic the Gathering sitcom put on by Loading Ready Run, you should check it out. One of my favorite lines was, if you didn't want to have Dark Tutelage kill you, you shouldn't have put it in your commander deck. But unfortunately, I think that Dark Tutelage is probably non-foil in this, let's say $3.50. Foil planes. Remember to be showing the prices on all of these foil lands so we see if the plains is worth less than the island. And here we go. Threadbind Click, Shrouded Shepherd. I've been drafting this set a lot. It's a lot of fun. Great way to get cards too. All right, I don't think that this pack was very much. I think that this was maybe a $13 pack, if that. What's really funny is I probably said, like, ah, it's a $20 card, and then I go, ah, it's a $13 pack. All right, on this pack, I'm gonna pay better attention. Oh my God, we got it. A total defense of the heart. $25, I say, $25. Boom, right there. Worth the price of the pack in foil. Beautiful, just beautiful card. 25 bucks. Whoa, what a pack, Karmic Justice. Not in foil, it's in that weird anime. I don't like this, I really prefer this style to that, but I think that Karmic Justice in that anime gotta be at least $14.99, right? All right, so remember that this is, I've said 20 and 14, so I'm saying this is like a $35 pack. I'm gonna mentally remember. Devouring Sugar Maw, no way. Buck and a half. Shadow Puppeteers, no way. Buck and a half. Ingenious Prodigy, no way. Buck and a half. Well, it's foil, buck 99. Dark Tutelage, again, what did I say for it last time? I said a couple bucks, 
Here it is in foil, 350. Curiosity. So here's a great example. What a beautiful card. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful card. Just lovely. But unfortunately, it's only worth 25 cents. Here's our foil island. All right. So I'm guessing this pack, let's see if we got, we still haven't cracked the chase uncommon. I thought that was it for a sec. I saw it under my eye. That would have been great. Spell stutter, very fun. Red cap thief, beautiful art, but not worth anything here in the common territory. Not much for Popper. This was a $35 pack. $35 packs for sure. Absolutely. Probably like $6. I'm so far off on prices. Blind obedience again, only this time in foil. I don't remember what I said I thought blind obedience was. I think in foil, we're gonna say $9.99. This is $9.99 in foil. Leyline of lightning. I love the ley lines. Oh, I had such a thing uh, with ley line of uh, punishment once that I, I made a uh, life gain player. Uh, uh, he actually uh, grabbed my cards, which is not cool. He was joking, but I didn't know him. And it was at our game shop and he was so angry at my ley line of punishment because he couldn't gain life that he grabbed it and mimed through. I was really like, hey, I was doing the serious prof voice. Hey, no, stop. Don't do that, please. Um, ley line of lightning, 99 cents. Decadent dragon, beautiful art. Amazing, flavorful card. It's only 69 cents, nice. There's the Blossoming Tortoise, this time not in foil though. So I say this is five bucks since it's not in foil. Good five bucks. Three Blind Mice, a saga, in foil. I think this is about $2.50. Impact Tremors, classic. What great trips down memory lane. Classic, $4.99. There's our Season of Growth. I don't remember what I said for it. So I will just pass it along as it says $2. The problem with this is I don't remember what I said when we see the card again. That is the big problem here. Go a little faster through these commons and uncommons. Uh, that pack's value, less than $10. Wait, I already said it had a $10 card in it. $11. It's hard, y'all. All right, uh, we just ran out of space on the uh, memory card. Oh, hey, look, we're back. And we are having a lovely discussion in office about keeping video cards purged of files once we've transferred them. Fun running in office. But we've got an awesome team of awesome people and that's a cute rat card. All right, Godric, the Cloaked Reveler. Kind of like, I feel like, like this top foil card is slightly more burnished or not as bright as other ones in the thing. Uh, I don't think this is much 350, if that. It's not even that, I bet, but it's foil, I guess. Shared Animosity. This is a card that I got for my very first commander deck, one of them, which was just mono red goblins. I remember at the time it was really expensive. I don't think it's there anymore. I'm gonna say 7.99 at the time. I think I paid like close to 20 for it. It was a big card, so maybe my mental memory of it is inflating it. It's a $7.99. Twinning Twins. Yeah. Two bucks. Spiteful Hex Mage. When Spiteful Hex Mage enters the battlefield, create a cursed roll token attached to target creature you control. Cost one for a 3-2? <laughs> sure. How about $3.20? There's that devouring sugar maw. Foil this time. Eh. 225. Ooh, here we have Curiosity in foil. 
I think that should be worth a full dollar. A full dollar. Vampiric rights. We're back down to a quarter. It's just 25 cents. And our foil mountain. So that wasn't a very big pack. What did I say? Shared animosity being the big card in there, I think. So if shared animosity was the big card, then I'm guessing this pack is like sub $10. Or maybe just 10. As we go through the commons that don't even make an impact in Popper. Shared Animosity, great card for my Goblin Commander deck. Ooh, holy hell. We got another Defense of the Heart? This one in, uh, is that foil? It's so weird. The uh, background is making it look like this should have this stippled, oh, it's beautiful. I gotta admit, that's beautiful. This has gotta be like, like, 25 to 30 dollars, right? Because it's foil, it's defense of the heart, it's the anime, and uh, yeah, wow, and it's going out to a patron signed by me. Greater Oromancy, other enchantments you control have shroud, very cool. Uh, this one's probably like what. That's a good card. I'm just trying to go based off of Commander, this, Enchantment, I don't know, $6.99? Scalding Viper. Mm-mm. I say it's only a buck twenty. Red Cap Gutter Dweller. Ooh, a buck. The end. It's in foil, at least. This spell costs two less to cast if your life total is five or... Now, 20 cents. 25 cents, who cares, right? Compulsion. What an appropriate card for magic players, huh? With our pack cracking compulsions. There we have it, but this is only about 50 cents. There's that grasp of fate again, this time not in foil. $3? Nah. Foil Island. Is it weird that we have not gotten the one uncommon that everybody wants from the set yet in all of these packs. I feel like some uncommons are more common than other uncommons. And some commons are more on the mythic side. It's weird that people like me guessing because I feel so embarrassed. Like all I'm thinking, by the way, mentally right now is how embarrassed I am at not knowing the prices of these cards and I'm so wrong. Ingenious Prodigy, I love that art. It's the stretchy style. I don't think this is much though. I think this card is maybe, what, 250? Repercussion. Whenever creatures dealt damage, repercussion deals that much damage to that creature's controller. What a fun card for Commander. And I'd say, awesome art, $10, $10 for repercussion. Here's another one of those lands. What have we been going with? The lands are like five, six bucks. I'm gonna stick with that. It's that beautiful super art, not the stretchy art. I wish it was all super art. So maybe that's more, six bucks. Wildwood Mentor. Mentor. It's a Menatar. Mentor. This Mentor, unfortunately, I think is in the $4 range. Gruff Triplets. This card is, someone was complaining to me about how good this card was uh, in draft. That there's nothing you can do about it, but I don't think it's really doing much else. I'm gonna say it's only about a buck 25 in foil. Here we've got Vampiric Rites again. Dollar in foil. Hatching plans. This is just a quarter. 13 cents, right? All right. Are we getting up the beanstalk? Come on. Where are you? Beanie stocky. Cheeky house mouse. It's a mouse. Do you think that they were so uh, nervous based on how overpowered Eldraine was last time that they intentionally tried to keep this set more mellow? so that the plane of Eldraine 
did not get a reputation for being a broken plane. I think there's some value actually in it having that reputation as a broken plane, and I really think that there were a lot of arguments, myself included, made during original Eldraine that actually it was just like three problem cards, Oko amongst them, and that actually the original Throne of Eldraine is one of the best Magic the Gathering sets ever made, and it really was just that these three cards, which there were some rumors that there were behind the scenes reasons why Oko was Oko, but I'm not one to comment on that. Uh, and, and that other than that, it was just this amazing set. So you don't really need to. I don't know that I feel this is, it's not quite on the power level as original throne, but it's fun. And I love that bonus sheet. All right, uh, Farsight Ritual, bargain. Look at the top four cards of your library. If this spell was bargained, look at the top eight cards of your library. Ba 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 ba. Foil, stretchy art, 249. Leyline of the Void, woo! Man, it's like bonus card or bust though, isn't it? Like, like we can't even get the freaking up the beanstalk. <laughs> but here we go, beautiful, $14, even though it's not in foil. Beautiful card, going out to a patron at the signed card level for the month of whatever month this is, September. Signed by me. All right, uh, Heartflame Duelist. Nah, this is only, this is 99 cents. It's a knick-knack, oof. Oof, there it is. Oof, there it is. Ask your father. Um, this is from the commander decks. Mm, I don't know, 399. Sentinel of Lost Lore, in foil. I'd say this is $2.13. Stab Wound. I'm, I, mean, I just kind of feel that cards like this, this isn't even a dollar. This isn't even 69 cents, 49 cents. Raid Bombardment, there we go. What did I say last time? <laughs> I don't remember. I don't remember. A buck. How embarrassing, last time I was like $5. No. All right, where's our beans? Our beans stock. Oh, is this it? Nope. I saw green. Green meant beans. Will we get, at this point in the video, place your bets, will we open up the beanstalk? We only have two packs left, and I guess that pack had the ley line. That was pretty hot. 20 bucks total for that pack, right? No, it's not 20. Really is like the bonus sheet card or bust. Ooh, Scalding Viper again, this time in foil. It wasn't in foil last time. I don't know, 369? Leyline of Abundance, we're getting all the ley lines. This one isn't that great. This one's a dollar. 40. Dollar 40. Virtue of Courage. That's pretty good, yeah. I think maybe this one's at 599. Archon of the Wild Rose. Mm-mm. Don't have a lot of faith in this one. 225. Restless Spire. I've been sticking to just saying these are probably, you know, this is 499, right? 499. There's that Griffin Airy again, this time in foil. Makes it worth 80 cents. Impact Tremors, again. Another one, 69 cents. All right, here we go. We only have one more pack. The entire booster box, we didn't get a single of the only uncommon from the set that we would want. Hey, a merfolk! Merfolk Coral Smith. All right. Thank you for not being mean to me. I really hope it's, to be honest with you, like I, I, I never wanted to do more than one of this video. And it was just because everybody was so enthralled with Prof Guesses the Prices and I'm feeling super, super self-conscious. I'm feeling like people are gonna, I, I feel like there's one side where you love your lovable goofball character, which is me. 
<laughs> and and I like that. And I feel like it's like I get things wrong in magic. And I'm not actually a very good magic player. I just try and surround myself with good writers and and cool people. And and I I, I am ultimately that casual who just loves the game and 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 is not you know some Reed Duke, Andrea Mengucci, even Jesse Robkin level. But I have Jesse to work with in crafting the more intricate skits, uh, skits, scripts. And and before she worked at Wizards of the Coast, Carmen and, and other smart people that helped me in guiding that. And I learned from when I did the Talarian Tudor series, which was cool. But I feel like there's this aspect of you either love that this is this goofy old professor who drops his papers and says, a page 45, the other day in a video, I said, next month, or I said the last month, previous month was October, and that's the next month. And I, I get confused and I make mistakes. And it's either like, we love you, you're silly, you're lovable, right? Or, but then I feel like there's these people who are enraged by it. They're like, how the hell can you not know what this card is? What a joke. I had to sit through this video and he says, impact tremors is $2. And then he says it's $10. And then he says the pack's only worth $10, but he said there was a $20 card in it. Well, why am I wasting my time? And I don't, I, I just have that voice in my head and I don't know. But then there's a lot of people saying they really loved these. Mosswood Dread Knight in foil. I, I think this is maybe $2.99. There's the Goblin Bombardment. Sacrifice a creature, Goblin Bombardment deals one damage to any target. Not foil, beautiful $5 card. Ooh, Talion, the Kindly Lord. This is a neat fairy. Uh, when it enters the battlefield, choose a number between one and 10. Whenever an opponent casts a spell with mana value, power, or toughness equal to the chosen number. I love this design. I don't care if this is like one of those, those jank mythics. I don't know. I'm going to say it's $6.99. Spectre of Mortality, though. I think this is more $2.13 territory. <gasps> we got a Beseech in foil. All right, this is up there. This has got to be like, like what? $19.99, $23.99, I, I think this is $30. Final answer, $30. It's in freaking foil. And my next card is my favorite, one of my favorite cards to play with in all of Magic. And someone's going to get it at the signed card level. And I'm more excited for the next $2.00 foil uncommon than I am for Beseech the Mirror. But it's spreading seas! I am gonna spread my seas all over my opponent in Modern Merfolk, my favorite deck ever. My favorite deck ever. And you too can have a spreading seas, or at random, so not everyone but signed by me, the professor. If you just go to www.patreon.com forward slash. Oh, it's beautiful. I'm so excited for this card. My favorite deck to ever play was old school modern merfolk. I, I, I had so much fun with that deck and spreading seas was that turn two spreading seas to disrupt my non-blue playing opponents mana base or my blue with X color take away their red source. Love it. Love it. And then I can attack with my island walking merfolk. There we go. And thank you to everyone who does support over on Patreon, Garrick's Uprising, 30 cents. No one cares, Garrick, no one cares. No, wait a minute. When Garrick's Uprising enters the battlefield, if you control a creature with power four or greater, draw a card. This is a good card. I'm gonna say this is $3. I'm revising it. This is a good card and it's three bucks and it's awesome art. There's our last one, all right. Patreon really is the thing that keeps this channel going and growing strong, and they screwed up and they dropped 10%. We had a 10% loss last month, as did many of your other favorite creators check. So I really am doing this as a big all out to get that back up there. That's why there are some, there are some of these, all of everything from here that was the Enchanting Tales I'm signing, sending out to a new patron at random. Uh, I've got some other ones from the Booster Box game. You, maybe you just get an uncommon, maybe you get that cool rare, maybe you get the spreading seas. Maybe you get this twisted fealty, which is no good. All right, come on, up the beanstalk. No! An entire collector booster box I couldn't get 
The darn, dang, ding dong. Uncommon that I want, total value. That's at least a $30 pack. Did, what's our total value from 12 packs? And do I think we went on past $240? I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say we got there. I'm feeling optimistic. I think just by a little, I'm gonna say just by a little, we got to $269.69 because there were some nice cards in here. And the total value was, is, to be. And that, my friends, is why we do not play the booster box game for collector booster packs. Oh my goodness, no, no. I, I don't understand how packs of standard can cost more than than, than master's packs. Like, it blows my mind. I guess they're foil. I guess there's some special art. I don't know. I don't like collector boosters, but I do like getting to sit and chat with all of you. So I hope that despite the fact that we did not make it to box two, you enjoyed this collector booster box game that I hope to never, ever, 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 ever actually play again. But while I do not like collector boosters, I do like Wilds of Eldraine. I got called a Watsy shill because I said I enjoyed this set. What the hell? Yeah, I like Wilds of Eldraine. I love the enchantment cards on the bonus sheet. I love the art direction. Maybe not the anime, but I love the other art. And it's a fun set to draft. If you have not gone down to your local game store to draft Wilds of Eldraine, you should do this at least once. I have got a guide to draft that you can check out here. And I guarantee this is a great experience that you should do at least once. And if possible, if reasonable, do it down at your local game store in person. But even if you're not drafting, when you do spend that cash, try and spend it at that local game store because you're supporting your magic community when you do. And remember, I'll be giving away all these extra collector booster boxes and more on my next Whatnot stream, so be sure to tune in. And whether you are going to win from those giveaways or you just want to sign up using my invite code, you get $15 to spend on my stream on any stream on Whatnot. So just go to www.whatnot.com forward slash invite forward slash Tolarian College to claim your $15 credit today. Thank you, Whatnot, for sponsoring this old old magic hipster boomer type rambling and getting prices. Eh, I got him right on some. Next time on Shuffle Up and Play. Today we're playing a format that we all love and decks that we love. It's I Love Our Commander Day. I'm D. I love my Rakdos Lord of Riot's deck. Hi, I'm Jesse. My commander is Raph Capuchin, Ship's Mage. My name is Carmen Handy. This is Sakashima of a Thousand Faces and Tormod the Desecrator. I am playing with a deck that used to be one of my absolute favorites, Zozu the Punisher. I'm gonna tap three. I'm gonna Wheel of Fortune. I'm really regretting not playing this Soul Ring on turn one. What? <laughs> oh no. <laughs> All right. You took nine damage. Yeah, to play my second land. Yes. And then cast my first spell. Listen. The bravest You did do that it. before both, uh, <laughs> they both came out. I would have done it either way. Do I look like a coward? Don't answer. The person to blame is right on the sleeve. Boom, boom. Ah, oh. There we the go. The spicy. There we go.